Uh, Swadi Kap and good afternoon once again. So thank you to Dr. Apisamai or Dr. Bert just now for the Thai language uh, summary of the daily press briefing that we have uh, for today, Wednesday, the 7th of April, 2021. Now she talked about the uh, global numbers uh, as well. So particularly about the global uh, procurement of vaccines, we're in now at the moment around 658 million doses have been inoculated uh, worldwide already and many countries are in the process of procuring uh, more vaccines uh, for their population uh, as is Thailand in our vaccination plan. Now for Thailand the one highlight is that at the moment now there are around nine provinces which remain COVID free. As you recall a few Weeks or months ago, it was uh, in the around 20 and then 15 and then 11. Now we have nine provinces which are COVID free still, and we hope to maintain that to the longest time possible. Now, just uh, to highlight some issues first, on the zoning, I'd just like to mention first that the Ministry of Public Health had made an announcement uh, regarding the new zoning of the country which in this recategorization, the red group or the highest risk group included uh, Bangkok and four other provinces. Now this is actually still under process because it is a proposal and it will be finalized by the CCSA in due course. Now the designation of these provinces in color code zones have varying uh, degrees uh, of measures uh, which are, have been recently reported in the media. So we'd like to inform you that this, uh, once again, is a proposal still under consideration and further details will be announced uh, when it, it is finalized. On Songkran first, I'll talk about Songkran first before I go to the numbers that we have for today. So for Songkran, what you can do and what can you not do, just in summary. What you can do is you can celebrate Songkran next week in the traditional sense, mean, meaning going to temples and for Thai people, of course, paying respects to the elderly, their parents and their grandparents, pouring, pouring holy water on the palms of their parents as tradition. Also going to the temples and uh, pouring uh, holy water uh, on uh, the uh, Buddha images uh, as well. So this is what you can do, but what ca you cannot do is to uh, splash water as per the tradition that we have in terms of the fun tradition of splashing water on each other or putting uh, powder on the faces of uh, your friends in the festive mood. That is something that you cannot uh, do uh, for this year's Songkran. Um, secondly, what you cannot do is to celebrate in terms of a party mode in a congested area. So that's clear in terms of the Songkran for next week and I believe that everybody is prepared uh, to celebrate Songkran in the most appropriate way. In terms of travel inter-province, uh, that is not prohibited. It's confirmed uh, at the CCSA meetings by the Secretary General of the National Security Council as well as an enforcement measure that intra-provincial travel is not prohibited during the Songkran period. However, there may be certain measures uh, specific to each province in terms of quarantine when you arrive in those provinces, such as in the province of Buriram, as announced already. And for other provinces, the measures would be sort of stricter during the Songkran period. So once again, inter-provincial travel is not prohibited, it is allowed, but with, of course, the measures of the various provinces, specific provinces, which you should be uh, checking before you travel to those provinces. Now, for the general situation and numbers that we have for today, we have new confirmed case recorded today at 334 cases, out of which 153 cases are from active case finding. So you see that around half of that, around 150 plus, are from local transmission. Sort of a spike in the numbers that we have compared to the other days and weeks in the past. The new recoveries we have recorded is 121. And active cases 
remain at 1,741, as you can see on screen. No new fatalities, recorded at 95 fatalities. Now, the spike in the numbers, as Dr. Apisamai had summarized just now, are actually from a lot of clusters. Right now, we are authorities are actually keeping track of around 12 uh, clusters, sort of like mini clusters, uh, some clusters in, in Bangkok. And the highest cluster, the most uh, at-risk cluster that we're monitoring are the clusters from entertainment venues. So in the first week of this month, April, new cases were reported in 15 provinces around the country, such as in Bangkok, Nakhon, Patom, Shonburi, and Chiang Mai as examples. And most of them were related from clusters from various entertainment uh, venues. So we'd like to set out a precaution for those who have traveled to various entertainment uh, venues uh, to just uh, monitor yourself as well and check whether there had been positive cases coming out of those entertainment venues. And we'd like to thank all of those who actually visited certain entertainment venues announced and those who were later, later found to be uh, in COVID risk areas and they took the responsibility by isolated them, isolating themselves or by conducting the going to the COVID test. So the CCSA expresses this appreciation to the general public as well to adhering, for adhering to the uh, control measures, particularly in keeping physical distance. Now there were some people who realized that they were in at-risk areas, such as certain uh, pubs and bars and, and restaurants who were in those clusters, and they took those res that responsibility, and they even uh, reminded other people, their uh, friends who went to the same venue at the same time, they reminded uh, others, their colleagues and friends, to take the COVID test. And uh, being aware of the situation, they also, some also, moved the appointments that they had, moved all of their engagements and the like. So this entertainment, these entertainment uh, clusters are very important. There had been certain uh, public figures as well uh, visiting these entertainment venues, celebrities as well, and we appreciate the awareness and the responsibility that they have taken in taking the appropriate measures and warning others as well. So following the this new spike of new cases in various entertainment establishments, the Bangkok Metropolitan Administration ordered the temporary closure of certain establishment uh, venues, sorry, entertainment venues in three districts in Bangkok, which are Wat Thana, Klong Toi, and Bang Ke. So it's in pubs and bars in these areas. And this measure will be effective was effective since yesterday, the 6th of April, until the 19th of April, after, well after Songkran. So in summary, I'd just like to mention that we are now at a period wherein various cases have actually popped up in small clusters um, around Bangkok, as well as around certain provinces uh, near Bangkok. Now in the recategorization, that you have might seen in the news around five provinces, Bangkok plus four provinces, are to be included in the red zone highest uh, classification of, of uh, risk to be uh, at, at most uh, the highest level of caution. Now, of course, although this has to be approved by the CCSA, most likely uh, this is a reflection of the situation at the moment. So we hope that we will be able to control uh, these uh, new clusters in the entertainment venues that have popped up so far. So today is also World Health Day, which is a very timely opportunity to raise the public awareness on the importance of looking after uh, everyone's health. Given the COVID situation, of course, we aim to build a safer and healthier world. Uh, DMHTT Plus is something that we've talked a lot about in Thailand. Distancing, mask wearing, hand washing, temperature testing, and Tai Chana application. And you see on screen uh, two infographics from the World Health Organization on World Health Day. So basically, I've summarized to you the main points about the proposal for the rezoning, about the clusters of the entertainment venues, 
about the closure of various entertainment establishments and the measures that we still have to adhere to, what we can do and what we cannot do during Songkran, just to be clear. Firstly, what we can do, just once again, we can celebrate in the traditional way. We can go to temples. We can keep a distance while celebrating uh, Songkran in the uh, traditional sense of it. Uh, secondly, what we cannot do is we cannot splash water on each other in the uh, frivolous party mode as we have always done in the other, the other years or put powder on each other. The proximity uh, to each other is very important and we cannot also arrange uh, Songkran um, parties in, uh, con in congested areas. So that, that's clear for next week. So next week is a long holiday. Uh, we will be seeing first if we'll be uh, giving the briefing to you during the ho long holiday, but nevertheless, you can still uh, find information uh, on our latest information through, uh, through the social media pages that, that we have. So this is all I have for you for today, and we'll see you again on Friday. Thank you for your attention. สวัสดีครับกลับขอบพระคุณค่ะท่านนัทพานุนพคุณรองอธิบดีกรมสารนิเทศและรองโฆษกกระทรวงการต่างประเทศนะคะ